Hey guys, um, I want to make a quick video on making um, Workspacer work on your computer. I first wanted to show you an introduction of what I um, Workspacer is. So first of all, some people know a Tile Manager on Linux. And if I be honest, I really like the i3 Windows Manager. And um, the i3 Windows Manager is basically a lovely, it looks like this people that don't know and it's just an automatic tiling system you might be used to moving your pressing windows and left and windows and right to make your thing go left or right but what this does is it does it automatically and what i mean by this if i open another browser like here like so it automatically moves it to the left and right and if i open another one and you can set this through the program you can make it look however you want i've also added some gaps here so that it looks nicer essentially and if i close this one it can also resize it configurably and another benefit is also you can just, if I just put google.com in, just do it, and say, um, something that you can't do on Linux without, you have to do this with the keybinds, but on Windows, because you have the power of the mouse, you can just drag and drop, which is really good. You also have access to workspaces. So on a line, on like screen two, I have something else, but this is, I'm screen sharing the same screen, but on my workspace two, I've got something else. And you know, I've got just, you know, OBS on the screen screen three, which is here, hello, here comes the duplication problems, right? So. That's another hidden benefit. That's what Workspaces is. Now, that's just an introduction. Also, for people that are used to this kind of configuration and know about this already, the reason I'm making a video is I, I spent like essentially five years looking for this solution on Windows. And, um, you know, the only solution I could do was was, win, uh, was get a Linux machine or get a ThinkPad. And that was really frustrating. Um, just before a quick demo is, first of all, you can also, I've got keybinds to set so you can set like, you know, if I want this to be bigger, on the on the right then yeah okay, or whatever the left whatever you could do that and make it whatever you want yeah so it's really powerful really cool um i'm pretty sure this doesn't work yeah okay it doesn't work it just it just flips up it's not stable stable but it, it does everything i wanted to do like i've sent to some bugs um but it's not a showcase of the bugs or features right now is i wanted to get people that i used to work with as a software engineer who wants tiny manager on windows because you, you want a game, you want to do other things. That ben, all the benefits of Windows, you know, Microsoft works, Adobe works, um, but and also get all the coding benefits. And actually, most of my coding is actually nowadays done on um, WSL. So, and you know, it just looks and feels like a Linux machine now because you know, and with auto hotkeys and all that configuration, everything's just. Yeah, I've got, I've pressed control, TF, and open the terminal, right? That's just the little things that people in Linux knows, right? And yeah, it looks really good. It's just aesthetically pleasing. And I'll make another video next on how to get it installed and set up. But I wanted to showcase this and actually I'll show you the actual app in case there's some um, eager beans. But essentially, the app is called Workspacer and I downloaded it on GitHub. And yeah, it's just this one, the EXE. And then you have to put the my uh, configuration file in um, to, to get it all working. Um, I got it from someone else and I copied it and made it work for mine and my needs. If you have some needs as well, please let me know. Maybe I can uh, help you out. But essentially the configuration, I'll put this in the description as well. If you just copy and paste this configuration and put workspace open, it will work. I will make a separate tutorial to, um, because I know a lot of people want this on Windows, but they can't get it. Um, another, thing, another benefit as well, I just need to move my camera to show you this is um, let's just say a program doesn't work. And I know for a fact that League of Legends doesn't work. Um, I haven't really downloaded it, but if there's a product that doesn't work, you can just go to the workspace app and then just quit it. And once you quit it, it just becomes native Windows again. So everything's all, you know, tile management, or, you know, all that good stuff. But then as soon as you put workspace back on, um, just like a normal Windows app, you get all the benefits of this and I can just move this to a different screen so it goes back to the code. It's awesome. Um, I, I miss this, and it's actually the only reason I want to use Linux. Because I've got, the, um, yeah, it's not the only reason, but because I've got WS on Windows, which is very good and stable nowadays, I do all my Linux things, SSH things on the terminal, and I actually SSH to another Linux machine, like a Raspberry Pi, or in my case, a laptop. And I got all the power of Linux through the terminal, on my Windows machine and all the gaming thing. And actually another benefit as well is I can actually dissociate between gaming mode and work mode because work mode will be all tiled up whereas gaming mode is just like a standard Windows, right? So instead of doing a dual boot, uh, this is the solution I've come up with. Um, 
this is like sort of five years in the hidden Googling every single day to try and find it. And I finally found someone who made Workspace. So if you're work, the, I've, I heard it's no longer supported um, because there's no one that wants to work on it anymore. But um, thank you for the people that contributed, the 38 people. It, I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. I also did test this on Windows 11. It does work. I'm sure there'll be other nuances and other problems. But yeah, I'll put my configuration file at the bottom of the screen. So if you if you know what you're doing, you can just do it. But uh, yeah, I'll make some tutorials on how to install it from the start and um, let you guys get on. Thank you for your time. See you in a bit.